Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Dia, and as from the title, you can know that this is all about Georgia travel. So I have visited Georgia just a few months back in August. Uh, so I thought that this video is gonna help whoever wants to visit Georgia because visiting Georgia is a fairly easy for us Indians because there is e visa. So in this video, I will cover all of the topics like uh, how to reach there, how, what's the budget, what's the itinerary gonna be, uh, about local currency and hotels. and everything's going to be in this video so basically this is a comprehensive video regarding everything about joy also i have separated the video in each section so you can also scroll the video if you want to look for any particular one and that's the video all about so let's start so the first thing that you need is a visa so visa is actually very easy because we have e visa option uh, so once you apply for an e visa you get it for 120 days for multiple entries and you can stay for 30 days at once max and the visa application is also fairly easy so it's not much let me know in the comments if anyone wants me to make a video on how to apply for georgia visa and anyway i applied it myself it just took 5 working days for the visa to get processed so the first thing is you need a photo they have a specific requirement i think with a white background just check it is in the visa website i will mention the visa website in the description box you can get it from there as well and the next is is you need a passport which has at least 6 months validity the first part of the visa is with this documents you have to apply for the visa and you have to pay 20 usd for it and after you pay this 20 usd you will get another link on the same email id uh, from D, du verify so this is kind of like a third part the agency which does all the verification so there you have to up, uh, upload a few documents for example you have to upload your bank statements i think for last 3 uh, or 4 months i guess so you just have to upload you know the pdf file and also you have to upload your travel history like if you have been to any other countries previously uh, so you have to upload that as well so in my case i have just uploaded the pa my passport where you have the passport stamp for immigration for that country so i have just scanned my passport and uploaded all the pages there and uh, i think i have also uploaded my salary slip that is not mandatory not compulsory but i think there was an option where you can upload other documents so i have up, 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 so i have uploaded my salary slip as well and after uploading all this you have to pay 15 usd so total visa fee for georgia for one person is 35 usd which is approximately like uh, 3100 rupees and uh, once you upload all the documents and everything within 5 working days you will get it i also got it on, on my i think fifth working day i got my visa and also you don't need to upload any a uh, flight or hotel booking so you can first apply the visa once your visa is approved then only you can book your flight tickets So once you have your visa approved, the next thing that you need is to book your flights. The good thing is that from India, Indigo have a direct flight to Tbilisi from Delhi. Uh, so when I went, it was in August. I think uh, just three or four days before we went, that flight route started. So it was really easier for us. So we just went from I'm from Hyderabad. So from Hyderabad, I went to Delhi, and we had the immigration done in Delhi. And from Delhi, it is a five-hour direct flight to Tbilisi. So for one person one way it was fourteen thousand and I just checked right now for maybe February the flight is around like fifteen thousand so the return flight it was not from Georgia because after Georgia I had visited Azerbaijan so I came back from Azerbaijan so just one way I have booked and there is also a return flight from Indigo as well so if you are going just to Georgia you can definitely book this Indigo flight. The next is hotel booking. So we booked our hotel via uh, Booking. dot com. So our hotel was Hotel Medani. I will link the link of the hotel down below. Uh, so the location we chose this hotel because of the location. So the location is uh, Vaktang Square, like a central square. It's in Old Tbilisi. So Tbilisi basically is kind of divided into two parts. So one is the New Tbilisi. If you want to book like hotels like Marriott and those kind of hotels, it's in New Tbilisi. Uh, but we chose Old Tbilisi because all of the places that we want to go, uh, like the two. is attraction basically everything is in old tbilisi so the place that we stayed in everything was within 1 to km so we just walked around and explored the whole place uh, so i would suggest that get a hotel in old tbilisi it will be easier for you to go around and the hotel that we booked it was uh, 3000 per night and it was including breakfast as well but uh, i think you will get hotel within like 2000 2500 rupees it's according to your budget there are multiple hotels so just check the ratings and the reviews on whichever website you are booking it for. 
from and you can just book it directly from there so one thing i forgot to mention that uh, the flight that you are going from india to georgia you will uh, you will land there like at the hotel you will be there around i think 1 or 2 am so you can either book one day extra like whichever day you are entering because the check in time in most of the hotels are 3 pm right so most uh, i think for us we booked that day as well which which day we were going and uh, or else you can call the hotel and ask if they have an early check in option maybe they won't charge you for the whole day they can maybe charge you for the half day but just uh, talk about talk to the hotel before going there and uh, next thing that is not mandatory but i would highly suggest for you to get is travel insurance uh, so just in case if anything happens if you are traveling travel insurance is something that i guess everyone should have so i booked via policybazaar.com and uh, you can check from their website there are multiple options so for us i think for 5 or 6 days we paid 400 rupees per person uh, it was i think uh, 100000 usd coverage and yes that was it and and uh, let's now talk about local currency so local currency for georgia is lari and one lari is equal to approximately 31 rupees uh, in indian currency so yeah there is a bit difference there one thing you can do is you can get usd from here and you can just go and exchange it to local currency as well but uh, we didn't do that we have some we we had some usd with us i think around 50 or 100 usd uh, but, but we didn't change that we just went to the atm and uh, used our like normal car like i think i have used both access and hdfc we just use uh, we just took out the money from atm there uh, that i felt that is much easier but again you can exchange your money as well there are multiple atms where we stayed it was there in the airport as well so you can choose from there and also for sim card in the airport itself there were like four or five different service providers so just go around and look uh, the different because the prices are different in each of the counters the, the one that we took it was i think 35 lari which is like 1000 uh, rupees uh, so for that for 7 days we had unlimited internet and also i think some 1000 uh, minutes local calls and also the internet speed and everything it was good so i would suggest that if you don't have international roaming on uh, this one is a much cheaper option so you can just get the sim from the airport itself about the cab or the transport so before going to georgia i have researched a bit and saw that so bolt is the app that you that is like widely used there it is kind of like uber you could say so when we were in the airport there were lots of drivers who were telling that they want they can you know drop us to the hotel so like 70 to 80 lari for us to drop to the hotel and in the bolt app it was 25 lari so you can know the difference how much more they are charging uh, but anyway bolt app is uh, very easy like it's a normal uber app so you can you have your local uh, so once you get your local sim card with that number you can just register to bolt bold and uh, you can just book it from there and also bold in the bold app itself there is a food option as well so if you want to have your food delivered so it's the same app so you can food deliver so you can get your food from there as well and talking about food so uh, i personally didn't like a georgian cuisine much like i i didn't like their food so basically it's a european country so the food is like the european kind of food they have like breads cheese these are the things that is heavily used all of the like food you could say and also there are veg option available as well like not too much but yes if you are vegetarian you will get options as well because i have seen like in most of the places there are veg options and also chicken is like uh, and also like chicken and everything is also available as uh, mostly i like i am a non vegetarian so i had chicken in most of the places uh, but yes food is okayish but i do try their uh, kacha puri which is like a fa- like a famous georgian cuisine there and uh, also there is king khali which is like big momos you could say but you can definitely try it out Now let's talk about the itinerary. So Georgia is a very small country, so I I think like six days maximum is enough to visit Georgia. So let's talk about what places I have visited. So I have actually stayed in Tbilisi for the whole uh, trip. Uh, so we actually had planned to go to Gudori and stay there, but when we went, there was no snow, and all of the locals mentioned that there is no point of staying there. You can just book a day tour, which we did. And I think if you're going in winter season, you can stay in Gudori for the uh, uh, ski resort and. 
you know those uh, to, for the snow and all but if you're going anytime other than winter i think it's best that you can stay in tbilisi and just roam around the places for day one uh, we didn't book any tour so we just uh, chalked out all of the places that we want to visit from google i have a separate vlog on that you can check from the link in the description box so the place that we stayed in everything was within uh, one or two kilometers so so we just walked all around the place we visited all of the places like there was a uh, narikala fortress which is very nice there is a uh, ropeway as well so it's bet like it's best to take the ropeway while going up and while going down you can just walk down it's easier and uh, georgia actually is mainly filled with lots and lots of churches it's a very uh, religious country and so the churches are orthodox christian church so they also have a particular dress code uh, and uh, that you have to get like before entering uh, the church but anyway they have like the shrugs and stoles everything bef like before entering so you can just take it from that and wear and just go inside and uh, yes so the the day one was everything included like the places that we visited within tbilisi so the next day we visited kakheti region which is like less, which includes the signagi town so kakheti region basically is the wine region of georgia and if you don't know uh, georgia actually it is said that wine has been invented in georgia and it's, it's been there like for 8000 years now so this is like a thing that most of the like this is a very good tourist attraction and all of the tour whichever you are booking the day tour they will also include a wine tasting as well they will go let you go into the winery they will show how they make like you know preserve the wines and you can buy the wine from there as well so the tour that i went to i think they gave us around like five or six different types of wine i'm not a wine person at all so i can't tell that how is the wine but anyway the wine tasting is included for that and the next day we actually went to kakheti region which is basically the caucasus mountain so the places the, that we went it is at the north of georgia so it's almost like the russian border that we went to and uh, it's a very beautiful place again if it is winter it should have been like totally snow uh, but we went it was it was a very like sunny weather there so we went to zinkhali reservoir there was holy trinity church which is almost at 7200 feet high and you have to get a separate 4 by 4 vehicle which is not included in the trip by the way we have to pay that extra and uh, also like there are different uh, places that you can go to so all of the trips that we had booked like the uh, local day trips the trips start around like 8 am in the morning and uh, we were back in tbilisi around 8 8:30 at night and the next day trip that we went to it was for musketa to musketa we went to gori and we went to up list sheik Uh, I think I'm pronouncing the name uh, wrong, but anyway, that was the tour that we went to on the last day. And for the last day tour, I would suggest that wear something comfortable because that up uplist chic that is like a cave town. So you have to walk a lot, like you have to climb to the top of the mountain. So wear something comfortable if you are going to this one. On the last day, we actually have our flight to Azerbaijan at midnight. I think around twelve or one a.m. So we didn't go anywhere. We just went around like the city. We went to do some shopping. We went to a mall. We went like some places that were left. We just roamed around in Tbilisi at that day. And if you want to, if you have time, you can definitely visit Batumi. So Batumi is a uh, I, I I would say like a new city kind of. Uh, and Tbilisi one where we stayed like it is an old. town batumi is fairly new one so if you want to have like want to like party and those stuff so you can definitely visit batumi and from tbilisi you can get a flight to batumi uh, when i was there i checked it was i think around 3000 rupees flight in our currency and uh, i think there is train as well if i'm not wrong but uh, i'm not exactly sure of it but flight is there so if you want you can visit batumi as well and uh, I, but i think from batumi you won't get any direct flight so you have to come back to tbilisi and from tbilisi you have to go to any other destination. nation like india if you are coming back so yes that's about the itinerary other than the tbilisi town uh, there all of the places that you have to cover they are like a few kilometers like maybe 200 kilometers around 200 to 50 kilometers Uh, away from Tbilisi, so you either can do one thing. You can book a car rental because the play, uh, there are a lot of car rental places there as well. So you can book a car and you can drive. And just one thing, like the driving is opposite from India. Like they drive on the right hand side of the road. So make sure you have that. Also, I think you need your international license. So you can either drive and you can roam the place itself. And the roads are very nice. Anyone who has driven in India, they can definitely drive in uh, Georgia as well. And what we did is. 
we booked some local tour agencies so again like like where we stayed uh, in that square whenever you go out there will be like many people from different agencies they will come to you they will tell you about the tours that they have this 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 tours and packages everything and uh, for example but you have to but you have to bargain a little bit for example like uh, for the kakati region if they ask you like 110 if they ask you like 110 lari for two people you talk to them and bargain a little bit maybe they, it will go down to like 90 lari or something and you can do that so for example like the kakati one that we had done it was like 45 lari for two people which is approximately 1300 rupees and in this 1300 rupees uh, they will give you a card there is a english speaking guide and i think they will give you water as well and uh, but the lunch is not included but all the entrance fee whichever they have mentioned everything is included and if you are going to the wine region like Signagi the wine tasting is also included in that so you can book via this local agencies directly or if you don't want to book via local you can also book via uh, you know websites as well like there is Kluk there is a TripAdvisor there are multiple you know those apps you can book via those as well and uh, but the thing is in the app I have seen like uh, in for example in Kluk the same uh, wine tour that we did like, maybe in 40 lari like 1300 or 1400 rupees it was costing around 4000 rupees so there is a huge difference between that I could suggest that you can book directly from the local people there you can just walk around and compare the prices from different uh, tour agencies and you can just uh, book from that as well let's talk about the budget part so georgia i don't feel it's too pricey uh, again like you have to buy in a little bit if you're going on this tour and stuff but other than that most of the prices are affordable hotels also you will get uh, mostly within your range and flight tickets to and from should be around thirty thousand from delhi maximum so in our case uh, uh, my total actually was for two people it was around like ninety five thousand for two people like per head it was like 45 46 000 rupees which is really really cheap I would say and uh, let me just break down the cost so for flights from Delhi to Tbilisi it's 15,000 so one way we will get a 30,000 rupees visa cost around 3,000 and the cab if you are not if you are taking the hotel where I was from so you won't need any cab so just from the hotel uh, to uh, the airport it's around like 1,500 uh, to and from and sim will cost you 1,000 rupees and uh, I've added only for three days tour so three days tour was around like 4,600 rupees uh, it this is for one person by the way and the food approximately will be around like 7000 to 8 9000 rupees so i'm just keeping average as 7000 rupees and the hotel again 6000 rupees and miscellaneous like if there is any entrance fee if you are going anywhere and you know there here and there there are some prices so that is like 7000 rupees so all in all i think 60000 is like the average budget that you can have for this whole georgia trip which i think like an international trip also it's a uh, it's actually partly in Asia and Europe but it is kind like a European country so I think 60,000 is a very affordable budget to go to Georgia for a five-day tour this is I'm talking just about the five-day tour and the places I've visited and if you're visiting like Batumi and other things it will be a little bit obviously it will be more than this but I think all in all within like maximum 70 to at the higher end side maybe 80,000 a five-day trip is enough for Georgia so it's a great deal so yes that's about the budget so yes, that's all about Georgia. I feel I have covered most of the topics, if not all, that you want to know before going Georgia. But if you have any question regarding anything related to Georgia, you can definitely comment down below. I will try to answer it. And also all of the other Georgia travel vlogs are on my description. There is a playlist as well. So definitely check out from that. as. Well. And as I've mentioned that I have traveled to Azerbaijan from Georgia. So I will do a sit down video like this about Azerbaijan as well personally i liked azerbaijan more than georgia uh, so yes yeah, stay tuned for that as well and that's it about the video take care guys bye